So a little part two of that, um, all the freight got off safely. That's all that matters, right? And um, they wanted me to take the freight all the way inside the building, which I have no problem. I have no problem doing, but I called just to make sure and it is not listed as inside delivery. So for liability purposes, I did not take the freight all the way inside. They had a bit of a problem with it, but I was cleared already by dispatch for that because it is not listed as inside delivery. Um, they couldn't get a hold of the school district uh, responsible for this order. And, you know, they've got a pallet jack there, which lets me know that they have it for a reason. Um, make sure that you guys are always within legitimate means when you're operating uh, in these various different customers that we have, okay? If they've got a pallet jack, chances are you only go as far as uh, the dock entrance and then they take it the rest of the way is usually how that works. And um, so just make sure that you um, dot all your I's, cross all your T's, man, and make sure that you're doing everything right. So something like this, you know, who knows? Maybe I could have gotten hurt. That piece of freight that I had to turn around in part one, upper right hand corner of your screen, check that out. I couldn't get up under it. Um, I would have had to break it down, but I got up under it, under one side of the pallet, turned it around, um, maybe took, it took me like an extra five minutes just to get one pallet back out. But, you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go. The taller the freight, you definitely want to have um, that piece of freight long the, the long ways going along with the trailer you know yeah it's going to overhang just a little bit but you have to use your discretion you have to use your your good judgment and see if it's going to work or it's not going to work feel the freight test it out shake it we get paid by the hour so you're getting paid to do things safely man okay don't be in a rush take it slow use your common sense um the shorter the freight then yeah go ahead and turn it on its side and that's the thing you know with these lift gates it's very herky-jerky once you push that button down keep going down don't stop because if you stop it's going to cause the freight to uh to tilt and it could tilt in a bad position so i also had to let a truck know that was that was next to the lift gate hey man you got to move he had to pull up right next to the trailer waiting for his kid to come out of school you know and i said hey man for your safety you got it you got to move i'm dealing with a um, piece of freight that's just not cooperating so he went ahead and he moved and did what i had to do they weren't happy about having to take the freight inside but i know they've done it before they have um their school custodians and you know all that type of staff there to take care of that sort of thing so um I don't want to say this and sound lazy. It's it's not about being it's 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 not about that. It's about you're taking precautions, you know. What if I had done something and hurt myself, right? And I wouldn't have had to in the first place, you know. It's not an inside delivery, simple as that. So anyways, just a tip for you guys, always call ahead and make sure I got to call my next customer. Now I'm doing pickups. This was the last delivery and I'm gonna to proceed to do my pickups. So I'm taking a little break right now for this video. Mr. By the Mile, your home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking, the red pill and survival. Take care, stay safe. All of you truck drivers out there, new and veteran, all you teamsters, see us on the road.